so this is my air conditioner in Florida and I'm just going to go over something that I do regularly whenever I'm here uh, with the drain. So in Florida, drains are a little bit different in that they build up um, a bacterial growth, a slime, sludge, um, it's what people in the industry here call elephant snot. Um, but if you've seen it, you know that that's a good description. It's a jelly, um, kind of crazy looking stuff. Um, so what I do and what that does is over time, um, is that will build up in this drain, condensate drain tube, and especially in the P-trap there. Um, and if that plugs up, well, luckily, well, most systems here have a uh, float switch, and not a float switch, a safety switch that if the water builds up, um, it turns the air conditioning off. Um, now, it actually did happen a few years ago that that happened to our drain and the switch was actually so gummed up that it didn't do what it was supposed to do and ended up dripping into the pan underneath the hot water tank. I actually replaced the hot water tank uh, this year as well. <clears throat> but um, So I'm just going to show you what I do. Um, so this is just a cap here that I can unscrew and now I know that when I do that now water is going to come out so I'm just going to put this bucket underneath there. Usually I have the hose right underneath there um, while I do this and uh, it sucks up any water that comes out but uh, as you can see as I drop that so that's open to the drain pan um, there's, you probably can't, there's not that much light, but you can see there's water in the drain pan, but it's very minimal. It's down as low as it can go. I just did this. I'm just doing this video just for demonstration to show what I do. And then I have a shop vac. And I suck that pipe out. But the important thing with the shop vac is if you use a shop vac, make sure there's no filter there you're just using it for liquid so you should open be able to open that up just see the float um, and then I just take the hose and second here sorry for the moving around I take the hose I turn the back on off just because it's too noisy but so what I do I just use my hand to restrict the airflow a bit put it over top of that hose to suck out this pipe here then what I do which I'm not going to be able to do with one hand but then what I do is with this one I have here this pipe actually comes out so you can see so I will do the same thing at, in here where there's a hole I take my finger and I plug up that hole and then I put the vacuum over top of this and what that does is suck out all of that so that I'm, this is clean that's clean everything clean starting from scratch and I do that regularly um, I mean I probably don't need to do it as much as I do it but um, if that buildup occurs in there, then it does build up very quickly. I'll put that back on there. The cap that I dropped on the floor, I will put back on there. Your piping configuration might be a little bit different, but um, that's basically what it is. So, I mean, my filter, I changed the filter a little bit earlier, so clean filter. The other thing that I do is I have this viper spray which actually um has stuff in it to um what's the word i guess it eats the bacteria breaks down the bacteria so i spray it right on the coil um and let it run down the coil it smells decent um 
keeps the coil clean and uh, that keeps everything working really good and keeps my air conditioning from cutting out.